In this video, I'd like to look at the new functionality that's been added to Business Central. Uh, they've integrated Shopify with this. And of course, Shopify is a website that allows you to very quickly and easily set up a store and uh, do e-commerce transactions. So in the Shopify menus, I have shop, customer products, orders, gift cards, so on and so forth. If I pick the shop here, I can set up a shop, which we've done. It's called Navmasters. This is the URL for our Shopify account. It is enabled. Um, I can set this up so that with items, I can sync items to Shopify. Um, I can create, um, I can update Shopify products. I can do all of these various kinds of things with this. With customers, I can have a default template. I can have it use one template here. Uh, I have a template set up for a customer called Web Customer. And, uh, or I can let Shopify create customers, which I've got checked here. So it'll actually create new customers in Shopify as they enter information uh, in the Shopify shopping cart. So I'm going to close this up and we'll go back to the Shopify menu here again. And I could set up customers, I can set up products in here. I've set up three different products directly out of BC and pushed those up to my Shopify account. I've also brought in the images of these uh, of this this uh, conference table and this uh, conference bundle and this yellow chair. All of this got pushed up to Shopify for me automatically from this screen. So if I close this up, I can look at some of the other things that we can do. We can look at orders, gift cards, transactions, payouts, etc. here. But what I'd actually like to do is go up to my uh, Shopify account here. And uh, when I open this up, these are the three items that I've pushed up to my Shopify account. And I can click on these. And I can see that this has, uh, this is a, an Antwerp uh, conference table. It's $647. And this has item attributes. The color is white. It has a depth, a width, a, a height, uh, so on and so forth. And so any items, uh, any attributes that we have in there for these can be pushed up. The material, uh, so on and so forth. So I have the information about this. I'm just going to add this to the cart. I'm going to check out. I'm going to enter my first name, my last name, my address, and I'm going to go to the uh, uh, shipping. And I don't have any shipping set up here, so this is going to ship for free. So I'm going to continue to payments. I'm going to <clears throat> pay now to place this order, and this will, um, and out of the box, Shopify will send an, a notification to me to my email uh, that this has taken place. So I'm going to pay now. Shopify displays my order for me, gives me all of the details about this. And uh, in a few minutes here or seconds, we should see an email pop up uh, that Shopify has notified me of my sale. I heard it just ding, and uh, I'll open it up. So this is the confirmation for my Antwerp conference table, so on and so forth. If I click to view order, this will just take me right to my order and I can see the order right out right from my email. So very nice integration directly out of the box with without doing much of anything to uh, to get this functionality to work. So if I close this up and I can go back to my solution here, if I go over to Business Central, so this is the sales order for that Antwerp chair, uh, table and chair, the conference table that we've just ordered. And so this is just synced up. And this is because the two functions to import sales orders and to export out shipping information are running on the job queue currently. So since we have this order out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this order up. It comes in released from Shopify. I'm going to reopen it for a moment. And the reason I'm going to reopen this is that this inserts a GL line for freight for the freight cost. There is no cost here, so I'm just simply going to delete this line. And now I'm going to go down to the section at the bottom here, and I'm going to tell it uh, who the shipping agent was. So I shipped this via UPS. I want to update the lines. I'm going to say yes. Put in a package tracking number 22-12345. So this is my package tracking number for them. 
I'm going to go back up now and I'm going to release this order. And from here, all I'm really going to do is to uh, post this. I'm going to use basic warehousing functionality here. I'm going to simply post this. I'm going to ship an invoice. It says, do you want to see the posted invoice itself? So I can go take a look at the posted uh, sales invoice. Yeah, $647 for my, uh, my Antwerp conference table and chairs. So I'm going to close this up. And within a moment, I just, I just heard it come in, I should get an email back from Shopify. It should pop up here. There it is. So this is the uh, notification that came through from Shopify. And this is my Nav Master demo. It's my Antwerp conference table. Package number, uh, tracking number 22-12345, and it was shipped via United Parcel Service. So this whole piece is uh, nicely automated. I can place orders. The orders are automatically brought into BC. I can ship them, including tracking information. That information is automatically pushed back up to Shopify, and Shopify sends the notification to the customer. Pretty smooth integration uh, for uh, Shopify with BC. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, remember to click below and subscribe for more.